Today we're going to show you an example of streaming telemetry using our new Catalyst 9300. And we'll also use a number of open source tools so we can visualize this data. And what you see right now on my screen on the left is a, just a picture of what the stack looks like. At the bottom we've got our Catalyst 9300 switch. Then we have the IETF client. Uh, this is just a Python client. And what it's doing is taking uh, and establishing a NetConf session with our device and setting up these subscriptions. Once these subscriptions are being pushed to the IETF client, the IETF client will then hand that data onto the Kafka bus. And Kafka will then pass it along to the Elk stack. Uh, the Elk stack is actually a, a combination of three open source tools, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. And Kibana uh, will be the tool that we use to visualize all this. So let me go ahead and show you Kibana. Uh, and what you can see, uh, if we go over to our dashboard, uh, we have a dashboard set up, but there's no data flowing because we don't have any telemetry subscriptions set up. And we can verify that by logging into our switch. And now that I'm in our switch, I'm just going to run the show command uh, show telemetry IETF subscriptions all. And so you can see there are no subscriptions. If there were, we would have actually seen a list of all the subscriptions on the device. So what I want to do now is go into my virtual machine where I have my ELK stack and my IETF client. And the first thing I'm going to do is start my IETF client. And what I'm doing here, uh, once I launch this, I'm also specifying my switch, and that's the IP address here. I'm letting it know the location of the Kafka bus, and I'm providing my credentials for the switch. So now that I've started that, you can see I've got a NetConf session that's established. And this is now running, but we need to set up data uh, to flow via subscription. So we're going to do a series of six curl commands. And what these are going to do is set up each of our subscriptions. Uh, and what we do is we specify the X path. This is the location of the data that we're trying to subscribe to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to look at six different pieces of data. Uh, we specify the period. The period is just how often we want to have the switch push this to us. Uh, this is in centiseconds, uh, so in this case, a thousand centiseconds would be 10 seconds. So let me go ahead and start setting these up. And I'm just going to enter those here. And what you'll actually see, you can see that the top uh, terminal window is beginning to populate with data that's coming from the switch. Uh, and going then to our Kafka bus. Right. So now we've set up both used memory and free memory. I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, a subscription for in octets on my gigabit ethernet 101. And I'm also going to set up a subscription for out octets on that same uh, gigabit ethernet 101. I'm also going to pull in my CPU utilization and finally I am going to grab the environmental data um, in particular the temperature of my device so we've set up six different subscriptions and now if I run the show telemetry IETF subscription all command in my Catalyst 9300. What you'll see is we have six different subscriptions set up and it provides the ID for each subscription. Um, and if we wanted to see a little bit more information, we could actually add the term detail. And this will give us a lot more information. It tells us we see our used memory, our free memory, our in octets, out octets, CPU utilization, and finally our temperature data. So now that we've done that, let's go back to Kibana. And what you see is this data has already begun to populate inside of our dashboard. And these dashboards can be configured uh, however you want. Uh, in the case of what I've set up, in the top left-hand side, we see our average CPU utilization. Uh, in the right, 
upper corner is the in octets, out octets on gigabit 101. In the bottom left is the temperature in Celsius for our device. And in the bottom right, uh, we're looking at the free memory versus the used memory on our device. So you can see the free memory is in green and our used memory is in red. And so right now our CPU utilization, uh, you know, the max we're seeing is 2%. Um, and just for fun, let's actually go ahead and just see if we can run a few commands uh, and bump that up a little bit. So I'm going to go into the guest shell and I'm going to run a Python script. Um, and let's go ahead and exit guest shell and let's uh, just do a show burr, do a show run. And what we'll see here is that our CPU utilization will go up just a little bit as we're doing various things on the device. Uh, and I'll exit and let's sign back in. So you can see just by doing a couple things, uh, I was actually able to increase the CPU utilization and, and see in real time that I'm, I'm actually getting data from my device. And what's really great about this is unlike SNMP polling where you're having to ask the device to send you this data at a regular cadence. What we're doing with these subscriptions is we're having the device push it to us at our specified time. So this is our demo of streaming telemetry. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Take care.